everybody and welcome back to Space Street Crypto. My name is Elizabeth Howard and today I'm going to talk to y'all about a technical analysis I've done on Vault Inu now that we have figured out that Gate.io is actually going to be the first thing that's going to happen for Vault Inu. We're going to be listed on Gate.io first and then Vaulty change is going to be rolled out. Now if you think about it, that is really smart that Vaultoshi is going to do it that way because there's going to be more investors, more people, more eyes on Vault Inu, and then Vaulty Change will be launched. Now, yesterday I did, I showed y'all my price prediction for Vault Inu with just Vaulty Change coming out. So I said yesterday that if they go back to back, it's going to be a big deal. But I based that on Vaulty Change coming out first. So now that we know Gate.io is going to be the first one to come out for Vault Inu, let's check out what I have and I'll tell you why. Also keep in mind that a bear market in a crypto space is, it says nine and a half months. Well, I don't know about that. Everybody has their own opinion. But if you wanna say that, then that means that it started in January and September is coming up very soon. So we know that we're gonna be listed on gate.io and we know that we're going to have Vaulty Change roll out. Just keep in mind that our last all-time high was 119 days ago. So we're coming up on that nine and a half months. It's only been eight and a half months since Vault Inu has been born. So don't worry, we are going on an uptrend, but this is what I think is going to happen the day that we get listed on gate.io. Okay, so this is on a daily chart right now. That's what I'm looking at, but I wanna tell y'all, doesn't matter if you put it on a four, three, whatever. This is gonna be the same thing that I think is gonna happen. So here was the reversal. Now, if you don't know what a reversal is, for my new subscribers, my new people in the crypto space, go find out what a reversal is. But down here, that's whenever that happened. That's whenever the price is too close to being open and closed at the same time that that creates a certain type of candle that we call a doji candle. And that happened right here. So this was a reversal every dip was being bought. It was not going past a certain amount, especially with the market the way it was going and the way it is going with Ethereum holding at 1600. People aren't seeing that 1500. So people aren't freaking out and being too bearish on the market. 16 is kind of fair in my opinion, but this is what I think is gonna happen with gate.io listing. So we're right here at the eight three, five, one. Now we've been sitting there. We touched six the other day, but now we're at eight, three. So what I think is going to happen with gate.io, I think it will go up and we will have resistance, our most resistance at one, three, one, five. That's where I think that is going to be the most resistance for us when we're listed on gate.io now. I understand gate.io has a billion dollars moving around in there, but not everybody is interested in the meme coin space and not everybody is gonna buy Vault Inu. Like, let's just be honest. So I'm sticking with a conservative number for when we're listed on gate.io. I personally believe with us being listed on gate.io, we're going to be in this range. We're gonna be in the one five range comfortably. Now I had a couple people in the comments say, yes, that is correct. And then I did have somebody in the comments say this. Jeep dropped two zeros after a listing on gate, but that was in the bull market. Bitcoin was approaching 60K. Saitama, Kishu, Cole, and Lovely had no price change after gate listing due to the bear market. I do think we might get back to the all time high after gate listing. All right, so that was from Magic for Life. They believe that it's going to go back up to our all-time high. Now, if we're going up to our all-time high, we're gonna be at 3-2. Now, don't forget, whenever we do touch our all-time high, there's gonna be a million dollar uh, burn of Vault Inu, so that's gonna go even higher. And then we are rumored to have a thousand projects being listed on Vaulty Change, which it is smart. Like I said before, it is smart to 
be listed on gate.io and then roll out VoltiChange just because there's more eyes, more projects will see us also, not just investors. And there are rumors that gate.io is testing the liquidity by buying Vault Inu right now. But I'm so excited that we are listed. That is a big, big deal. But some people do believe we're going to hit an all time high whenever we're listed on gate.io. I think with the way the market's going, with the attitude of everybody, I think we're going to sit comfortably at 5015 with the gate.io listing. And then Vaulty Change is going to go and roll out right after that. Now, when Vaulty Change rolls out with Gate.io, that's whenever I feel like we're going to hit an all time high. That's what I think it's going to take. But Ethereum is being kind of fair with that 1600 mark. If we go any lower than that, of course, this could all change. Everything can change. Crypto is more than a chart, it's a mind game. So keep that in mind. But hold the line right here, I guess, is what I'm trying to tell you. And the one. 315 mark not financial advice but i do feel like at that point people are going to be selling these projects will be advertising to their token hey we got listed on volte change if you buy here we will burn supply people will get excited and i think fomo is going to kick in i think more projects are going to want to be listed so both back to back is going to be very bullish it is very bullish so those are my um price points that I think we're going to hit hold the line not financial advice whenever we hit that comfortable spot of the one five range just hold it who knows how long it's going to last there and I don't think it's going to last very long whatsoever because then right after that we know vaulty change is coming out and we could have somebody like Mr. Well tweet, Sheep Holder tweet, somebody tweet. We could have somebody do that and say, hey, I'm buying. And it changes the whole mood of the market of with Vol Eni, what this chart looks like. So just so you know, a huge catalyst can change that. A huge catalyst can change this at any time. And that's why I always say crypto is more than a chart. It's a mind game. But yep, yeah, definitely tell me your price prediction. Tell me your technical analysis or study up on it. Do your own research. But it is always fun to check out charts. I do enjoy doing technical analysis. All right, so this is my technical analysis. Don't forget to join me in the space cabin tonight. I'm going to have Bleeves Crypto, the man that is always right in the space cabin, co-piloting with me, talking about some crypto, talking about some Bleeves and his Hollywood moments he's going to have in this movie of Vault Inu. I can't wait to ask him more questions about that. So don't forget to join us then. And also don't forget that on Friday night, I'm going to have a late night space cabin. I found a lot more creepy stuff on the internet when I was surfing the web. You guys got to check it out. It was It's always a lot of fun checking out all the weird creepy stuff. It's Friday night. It's going to be at 10 p.m. Central Time. So don't forget to add that into your calendar. But this is from a word from today's sponsor of this video, Deeper.network. I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.